Hi folks, I'm Joe with Premier One Supplies and today we're going to assemble a gravity flow drinker. This is an automatic drinker that attaches to an external reservoir. It held, holds the water at a preset level in this trough. So to assemble, we have our flow assembly here. There's a wing nut that's already attached at the bottom. Remove that and then this will thread into place. In a simple way, once you get a couple threads on, you can just Give it a little spin. This weight goes into the bottom. So there will be a divot here. Make sure it's nice and level. And the wing nut will fit right into that divot. Simple and straightforward. So to adjust the water level in your uh, drinker here, there's a lock ring that you'll loosen. And then above that is your height adjustment ring. So if you want the water level lower in the drinker, you'll screw that down. Or if you want it higher, you'll screw that out. Then lock into place. The water will come out of this uh, nipple and drip down the side until the preset water level or weight is reached. So to connect this to the reservoir I just have a short length of 10 millimeter hose that slides over this top nipple. I'm only going to partially put this on since I'll take it off in a moment. And then that hose is connected to an external reservoir. I have a hose clamp. We also call this a ground rod clamp on our website since we use them with ground rods. So this clamp is holding the 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter hose to our tank adapter, which is a 3 8 threaded adapter that goes through this reservoir. And that uh, can be adjusted via a simple standard head screwdriver to tighten or loosen. So if I'm using this in my uh, chicken tractor or chicken coop and water suddenly stops flowing, uh, you may have a block on the line. So before you do that, just play with your line and make sure you don't have too much sag from the res reservoir to the drinker because the reservoir needs to be higher than the drinker in order for proper water flow. And if you have too long of a hose, you'll get a little dip here, which makes that uh, not always work depending on how long of a dip you have. So have high, minimize dip. If you still have poor flow, Remove the hose, and we're going to remove the flow control system. And your flow control system is just a simple spring here, uh, held in place by your on-off valve. So we're going to remove the valve. And inside we have a filter. So pop that filter off. And this can get clogged with either debris if you don't have an inline filter, hard water, algae, insects that have fallen to the bottom of the uh, bucket and got sucked in through the valve here. So clean this off, compressed air, rinse it in water just to open up these uh, grids again. And that's a press fit filter. So it presses back on like so. Thread that back into place. desired height. So it'll take some finagling once you've reestablished flow to get the right height. Reconnect your reservoir. Refill that reservoir and you should have flow. If you have any questions about Premier or Premier products, you can give us a call at 800-282-6631 or uh, visit our website at premier1supplies.com. Have a wonderful day.